Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to No Prep News, episode number 68. This week we have various different comments to read and discussions to talk about. And we're going to start off by getting into the comments from last week's episode of No Prep News. With the first comment coming from DJ Bradley, you said, great video as always. Hey. Thank you for that. Then you said, don't think we will be seeing any No Prep Kings races this year. Definitely not on TV, that is. They may start racing this summer, maybe, but who knows with what's going on. And I was basing my uh, insights or assumptions last week off of the stuff we heard Boosted GT say in his live stream. Because in his live stream, not the one with Chief, the one before with Scott Taylor, he said... Pilgrim's main priority right now is, in fact, no prep kings. So I thought by him saying that, that implied that we will most likely see it go on. But looking at some other things that have happened this past week and reading the comments from you guys and just hearing more people talk about this, it seems like it really is up in the air whether or not it'll happen or not. It's not a 50-50, 60-40, 70-30. It's literally like, it. I mean... I, I guess you could say it. I, I guess you could say it's 50 50 saying it might happen, but it might not happen. But I want to say it's like, it seems like people are saying it's like 90 10, with 90% not happening and 10% happening. That's like the vibes I'm getting from the people that are talking about this. Because we've seen Sean talk about it, we've seen some other people talk about it in other videos. And it seems like most people that are involved with it are having doubts on whether or not it's actually going to take place. And as we discussed in this past episode of Street Race Talk, it seems like they're going to start filming some street stuff in the near future. And I'm going to read another comment right here, then elaborate on that some more. And this comment is from D. Scaglione. You said, I'd think back-to-back -back no prep king seasons would be hard to do with the wear and tear on the cars. Filming for the other shows with not a lot of time off, which these guys need, I guess. Great episode 67, Sim. TTVE, keep on keeping on in KOKO, KO, and God bless. Thank you so much for that comment right there. And I agree. These guys, I mean, they need the time off, obviously, or else they'll get burned out like anyone else. I mean, as much as they love this stuff, if you just, I mean, if they're out of town, if they have to go out to like Nebraska or something again and film there, like Sean was saying, they're away from the family and all kinds of stuff. Like he was explaining all that in his videos as he was out there. It's gonna make these guys not enjoy this stuff as much and they'll just get burned out if they're just forced to run through all this stuff throughout this entire year and looking at what it seemed like the schedule was for no prep kings was going to be a back-to-back -back seasons to make up for last year but looking at it now with how it looks like they're getting into street stuff right now because like we discussed in street stock it seems like they're going to get ready to film a street show in the near future I doubt that the back-to-back -back season thing is going to be a thing. If it is, though, I agree 100% with the wear and tear on the cars. You're going street stuff, season one of No Prep Kings, season two of No Prep Kings, and either end the year there or try and cram in another street show at the very end. So I honestly don't know what the deal is with No Prep Kings. I thought I had a pretty, pretty good grasp on it in last week's episode, but after last week's episode, I'm just sitting here like, I feel like I know less now than I did then. I mean, really, it truly is completely up in the air on whether or not we will in fact see it or not. And the main implication to that is the fact that instead of right now, they're giving guys kind of like more time off to prepare for No Prep Kings, they're having them prepare for a street show. I don't know what this street show is. Like I said in Street Race Talk, I'm assuming it's going to be the top 20 list, another part of that. So it's not going to be some new show from what I understand. It's going to be a reiteration of something we are not we something not that we've already seen, but something we're going to see. And then it'll be you guys know what I mean. We're going to be seeing the top 20 list on the show soon. Then it'll be a follow up for that show. But seeing how they're having them prepare for that rather than No Prep Kings leaves me with a lot of doubts on if we will in fact see No Prep Kings or not. But then Chris LeClaux, you left a awesome comment right here, and this kind of supports why I thought we were going to be seeing No Prep Kings. You said, I think No Prep Kings will definitely be happening this year. If you look at the NFL season towards the end and NBA now, they're allowing fans at games. I don't think No Prep Kings will be any different, and we will see some action on the tracks. And you left the perfect comment. I've been waiting for someone to leave a comment just like this because that was my main argument behind us seeing no prep kings if nfl and nba are letting fans in why can't no prep kings 
let fans in. I mean, obviously, it's a big difference between the capacity that those places can hold, how you can spread people out, that whole ordeal. But I thought if other major sports are doing it, why wouldn't No Prep Kings do it? Because we saw these major sports cut the fans off and cut the seasons off initially at the beginning of the pandemic, then No Prep Kings followed. So I'm assuming the same thing will happen again with them starting to let fans in and start doing events again, and then No Prep Kings will follow. That's the assumption I had going into this. And also, a lot of people I've been seeing say is that certain states and areas are going to be having different rules and regulations. Now, I don't want to get into this with this whole discussion, what the whole ordeal is with that. But that brings up a point that a lot of people are saying is maybe they will have no prep kings this year, but it will only be in certain states that allow it. Like, for example, I do believe down in Florida is pretty lenient, if not wide open for what you can do. So I do believe if they were to have stuff like that and say, stuff remains as it is right now, it will be in those select states that allow you to have fans there. Or they decide they don't want to do that and try and get a season where they can run the planned out schedule, then we probably will not see it until things open back up and they're allowing fans in. But with how no, or not no prep kings, the NBA and NFL is, I do believe that is going to be an indication that we will probably start seeing more and more fans attend those such events and hopefully trickle down and lead into fans getting into no prep events. But then again, too, there was a no prep race that I believe that was supposed to happen this weekend, if I'm not mistaken, and that got canceled as well. So it truly is completely up in the air right now on whether or not we will in fact be seeing no prep kings at all this year. And then moving on over to the next comment from Landon C. You said, I'm thinking Scott Taylor makes John Doe small tire and puts track dough on the street and makes a new no prep Kings car. I don't see him having three big tires. And I agree 100%. That's why I kind of thought it was so weird. It's like, why would he need three big tire cars? I could see him doing that with putting... John Doe was the small tire, Track Doe was the big tire street car, then the new car being the big tire, no prep Kings car. And I do believe people have been sending me stuff and I've been seeing pictures. I don't know if it's 100% confirmed or not, so I'm not going to show you any pictures right now. But I have heard that he has some like small tire Camaro. So could that be his daily driver level car? Going back to what we talked in Street Race Talk two weeks back, these guys have daily driver, small tire, big tire street car, big tire, no prep car. Scott Taylor, daily driver, this first gen Camaro, small tire, John Doe. Big tire, street car, track dough, then big tire, no prep car, the new car he's building. I mean, I don't know. We will just have to wait and see for that. Then getting into another comment from TDC22, TDC22. You said, Sim, do you think Fastest in America will be canceled? I do not believe that's the case at all. And I was surprised that you left this comment. And I wanted to address it because it was such a surprise to me that I saw that comment in the first place. Because I was under the impression that a lot of people enjoyed Fastest in America. Obviously, there's the people that dislike it. And again, we have to take into consideration us that are watching this video right now, me making this video right now, we're the diehard fans of this stuff. We're the minority rather than the majority of fans that watch the show. I do know, though, that the current shows we're seeing on TV right now Mega Cash Days and 405 are both doing, I wouldn't say a lot better, but better than what we were seeing with the Fastest in America numbers every single Monday night. These shows are, in fact, doing better than that show did. So maybe they'll see that, then maybe they see the top 20 list do really good as well, and maybe that make them say maybe we shouldn't do another season of this. But throughout season two of Fastest in America, a lot of the drivers were kind of implying that there would be a season three of it. There were certain points, especially when guys lost and they're like, well, we'll be back next time or we'll be back for the third season. I There was a couple instances where stuff like that slipped out. And I do believe that they were implying that there will, in fact, be a third season of it. When that will take place, I honestly don't know, but I do not believe it's getting canceled. And I would not be surprised if we do, in fact, see a third season of Street Outlaws Fastest in America. Although, with the current setup right now, I bet that'll be put on the back burner because, as I mentioned earlier, Boosted said himself, Pilgrim's main objective right now is No Prep Kings. And now, time to go to the main topic. The main topic this week is the new Murder Nova. I'm sure all of you saw the pictures and videos of the new Murder Nova after its nice new paint job they got on this thing. We discussed a couple weeks back what we thought it was going to be. I said I thought it was going to be gloss black. You guys said you thought it was going to be gloss white. Big change regardless from what it was. I mean, you got the murder Nova, the flat black murdered out look. It's an iconic look for the car. And they have switched it over to gloss black. And 
I, I'll show you some pictures of the car right now, and I love it. I just want to say straight up, I think the car looks phenomenal. Although, right when I see this car, the first thing that pops into my head are all those guys that tried to replicate the Murder Nova. You know what I mean? We've seen all sorts of cars, and no disrespect to those guys. I mean, if you get inspired by something, do whatever you want. But that's just what I think of. I think of the guys that copied or replicated the Murder Nova with their own car. That's what I kind of think of when I see this car. Obviously, I mean, who cares? The car looks phenomenal regardless. And this thing is just sweet. And the current status right now with the new Murder Nova and OG Murder Nova, OG Murder Nova will be devoted towards the streets. And the new Murder Nova will be for no prep kings when we ever end up seeing that. But we got some shocking news out of 187 Customs because they changed the look of the Murder Nova from flat black to gloss black. Everyone thought it was going to be white. I said it was going to be gloss black. Everyone's like, no, Sim, you're wrong. It's going to be white. It'll be white for sure. Little did we all know it would end up being gloss black and Sim XYZ would be right. I mean, again, the car just looks sweet. I'm looking forward to seeing them go out and race this thing, hopefully in the near future. So that is all. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching to the very end of this week's episode. TTVE. I hope you all enjoyed. Street Race Talk merch is in fact available right now as we speak. We got shirts and hoodies in all different sizes and it is in fact a pre-order. So it's going to be available until I believe it was February 21st is the final day you can put your pre-orders in. Then throughout the beginning of March, I will be shipping them out to you all. So check it out. Link in the description, cnbcxyz.weebly.com. You can get your Street Race Talk merch there. It's kind of weird. The first time promoting this in a video is in no prep news rather than Street Race Talk. But regardless, the merch is available and I love how it looks and I hope you guys like it as well. Again, link to that is in the description, simbsxyz.com and it is in fact a pre-order and orders will be shipping out beginning of March. But like I said, that is all for this week's episode of No Prep News. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you tune in tomorrow night, Monday night for the live stream here on my channel where we will be watching the new episodes of Street Outlaws. We will be going live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time or whenever Street Outlaws is live for you on your TV. No, I will be live here on my channel watching with you all. Wednesday for Red Light Questions, Friday for Serious Talk, then next Sunday for another episode of No Prep News. All these videos upload go live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. So make sure you guys click that little bell, turn the notifications on so you do not miss a single video that I upload. Again, all my videos go live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And make sure you guys leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below about not only how the new Murder Nova looks, but again, just reiterating your thoughts on if we will, in fact, see No Prep Kings or not this year. Leave all that in the comment section down below. Top comments and some of my favorite comments from this week's episode will be read and discussed in next week's episode of No Prep News. Betsy shirts and hoodies are also available at streamingsxyz.com and Street Race Talk merch. This is a mouthful right here. Street Race Talk merch is available for pre-order and the link is also in the description for that. It's the same link. It'll take you to, to my online store. You can check out the Betsy merch. You can check out the Street Race Talk merch. It's all there, and I hope you guys like it all. And make sure you put those pre-orders in for the Street Race Talk merch. I also have a P.O. box, so if you guys want to send me stuff, address is down below in the description. But again, like I said, that is all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at SamABCXYZ. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and this is SamABCXYZ signing out.